Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another video. Now the other day it only just dawned on me that out of all of the videos that I've done, I haven't done a video where I've showed you guys the process of me making my videos. And I wanted to make this video because it really is a lot easier than you think. In total the process only normally takes me a couple of hours at most. So today I'm going to show you from start to finish how I make my videos. So I'm here at the beach now and as some of you may have guessed, uh, my videos start at the beach because obviously I've got to go and get footage of some sea creatures and as I'm walking around the beach, um, depending on what I actually find is determines what videos I make. And usually, because I find a lot of sea creatures, I'm often working on four or five different videos at the same time, which is really good for pro productivity reasons, but um, <laughs> it takes a lot of editing, which isn't ideal. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a look around and see what we can find. While it wasn't the species I was after, it was great to find my first ever Tom Pop Blenny on Dawlish Warren Beach. Now that I have finished gathering all of the footage I need to make a video, it's time to start the editing process. Now, this is one of the longest parts of my video making process. And obviously for underwater footage, I use my Olympus Tough TG6. And for everything else, I film on my phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy S8, which I'm recording on now. Now, to get the files from my camera to my phone, which is what I edit on, is quite a lengthy process because there's supposed to be an app which allows you to transfer photo and video from the camera directly to the phone. This does not work. I've tried so many times and I cannot get it to work. But luckily I have figured out a way to get the files onto my phone pretty quickly and it is still lengthy but it's the quickest way that I've figured out and it involves transferring the photo and video files from my camera to my laptop and then from my laptop I upload the photo and videos to Google Drive and then once they're in the drive I can access the drive on my phone to get all of the photos and videos onto my phone. Uh, again, lengthy process, but I don't find it too bad because I'm often uh, just transferring footage in bulk, so it makes it a lot easier for me. But yeah, now we can move on to the scripting process. The scripting process can take anywhere from 10 minutes up to an hour, depending on how long I want the video to be and how much information I want to include in the voiceover. I use a mixture of my own knowledge as well as a lot of different websites to try and include a lot of educational information and facts about the sea creatures that feature in my videos. And here we are in the editing phase. Now as you can see on screen right now, this is the app that I use on my phone to edit every single video you will have seen on my channel. This app is called Ucut and it's completely free although you can pay for a premium service if you would prefer. But um, yeah, this is what I've used to make all of my videos and I'm going to show you how to do it. So as you can see here, I've got an image highlighted and that is indicated by the green bar along the bottom and I can pick up and move it to wherever I like. And the blue bars indicate the text. So as you can see on screen here, 
I've got some information about Percussion Starfish and again I can move that wherever I like. Now this app as I mentioned is free and you can uh, buy a premium service. I have not bought the premium service. Everything you can see here is uh, used on the free version. Now this yellow bar here is indicated by my voiceover so the things that I am saying over the top of the footage in the video are indicated by this yellow bar and I do that for every single video and as you can see you can move it around and here is basically everything that I have put together to make this video as you can see another image and what I can do with the images is add in a fade and a fade out and animations uh, lots of different animations to use but I like the fade personally which you may have seen in all of my videos but yeah this is these are just all of the clips that i've collected and then here's the end screen and i use transitions for the end screen and my intro because i think it looks a bit nicer and more professional so uh yeah it's a pretty easy process all in all doesn't take me that long only i'd say for a species spotlight from start to finish maybe around half an hour to do the whole thing so yeah it's really not bad at all so if you wanted to sort of replicate this with your own style of content it would be pretty pretty straightforward so yeah that's basically how i edit okay so once i've actually processed the video through ucut and uploaded it to youtube i then spend a bit of time on the video details now starting off we've got an easy and simple title species spotlight cushion starfish tells you what it is straight away uh, easy enough and then we've got the description so the opening paragraph here is basically talking about the content within the video and what i will be talking about and then we've got a little line about leaving a like and subscribing if you enjoyed the video and then I include the camera that I use for my underwater footage, which is obviously the Olympus TG6. And then at the bottom here, we've got the music that I've used in my intro and outro and the background uh, music in general. And if I don't include these, I have a very high chance of getting a copyright strike, which would not be good at all. For the thumbnails, um, YouTube normally gives you four auto-generated thumbnails from content within the video, but I like to use my own. It looks more professional, more eye-catching, and my thumbnails are made in an app called Canva. It is really, really good. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a good app to make thumbnails on. It gives you like uh, templates for the dimensions, so it will fit perfectly in a YouTube thumbnail, which I find really, really helpful, really, really good. So yeah. Uh, definitely recommend that it's free there is a paid um, subscription to it but you can uh, make good enough thumbnails on the free version moving on we've got the playlists obviously it's an episode of species spotlight so it goes in the species spotlight playlist okay nothing too important down here until we get to the tags now tags I think are really overlooked when making a YouTube video they can be really helpful for finding viewers obviously you can see here cushion starfish um obviously it's what it what's in the video and as you can see there's a little number one and if you can see that it says where your video ranks in youtube search results so if you were to type in cushion starfish on youtube my video would be the first one to pop up which is really really good um really really pleased with it and thanks to the tags it, it's there for a reason so um yeah tags obviously i'm using the tube buddy extension which also i think is really really helpful for um any content creators out there any beginners um really really helpful um it gives you some recommended tags which i use nearly every video now um languages um obviously it's in english and i can add english into the description language um you can add captions if you want i use the auto generated ones because i think they're just good enough and uh, yeah, recording date and location, I don't really do this too often. I just add the location as it can sometimes help with um, getting it into the algorithm and finding new viewers. Uh, license is the standard YouTube license. And then my category is pets and animals, um, obviously because I'm talking about animals the whole time. So moving on up here, we've got a few more things to go over. An end screen. I find these really, really important. As you can see, I've made my own little thing for the end of a video, which you may have seen if you stick around until the end. And basically, I add in a random video that YouTube selects. It says best for view. I don't really know what that means, but it just picks a random one from what I've seen. 
and there's my uh there's a button for you to subscribe if you ended up enjoying the video um these are really important because if someone finds your channel and they watch until the end another video will pop up for them and they may or may not click on it so yeah it's always nice to have there it's always good for a bit of peace of mind and another thing i do is cards um cards are the little things that pop up in the top right hand corner if i can just click on one here uh is it going to pop up there we go there so as you can see if you click on it you get uh my channel which you can subscribe to and then this one here i i, I just put a random one it's um a species spotlight tag so as you can see that didn't really work but as you can see the, this link if you're watching the video would take you straight to the species spotlight playlist on my channel so again really important if people enjoy your content and want to see more so yeah that's basically the behind the scenes of my youtube videos so that is basically how i make my videos from start to finish i do hope you have all enjoyed this video to see sort of behind the scenes sort of the whole process i go through to make videos for you guys so yeah, if you do enjoy, please leave a like and remember to subscribe to see more content like this in the future. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.